Hey guys! So today we're at Melbourne Museum. Yep. So we are going. We have been waiting to come here for a stand period of time. We have been so excited to just come here. So we're going to explore Marvel things. The first thing we're mostly going to explore is it's dinosaurs. And then we are going to explore astronomy. My favorite thing, astronomy. We're going to see multiple super cool things. So stay tuned. would go crush, 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 crush. So do you think with these big teeth and these big claws, these meat eaters, that's right, it's the teeth all laid out. All the bones were found laid out in order. And that's not very common. Usually when we find fossils, some of the bones are over here, some of the bones are over there, and paleontologists, they yeah, are like the Which one is a Cyndosaurus? That one's right there! A Cyndosaurus! This one here? Yeah, the one that tastes like that. Wow! That one's a high blue, dark blue, and high blue, and high blue. Hipsilocodon. Hipsilocodon. So, Maha, we can you tell a bit about the, um, what do they eat? Are so, they herbivore or omnivore? They're both. No, that's not omnivore. Right. These dinosaurs are herbivores, so that means they mostly eat crab. Definition of herbivore. Mavi, what, 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 what's this dinosaur here? Uh, hi, we, hi, Pepsi Lopidon. Pepsi Lopidon. And it's a vegetarian... Pepsi. It's a vegetarian... It's a vegetarian So which means it's a herbivore, is it? Yes. Right. So which is your favorite dinosaur? My favorite dinosaur of all time, yeah. it's a plant eater. What's it called? A Triceratops. So tell us a bit about Triceratops. Its name it has a meaning, yep. three-horned beast. I, I'm not sure, it's three-horned dinosaur, yeah. And it is a plant eater. It, it is half the size of a Tyrannosaurus Rex, our most biggest dinosaur in all history. Arvid, what's this, what's this dinosaur here with such a long neck? Uh, it's a Mamanchisaurus. Uh, it has the most longest neck of all time. It may have sharp teeth, but it's actually a herbivore. How long is the neck? 11 meters long. 11 meters? Where, where does it come from? Where China. was it found? China. China. Okay, Mahavir, 
Do you want to say something about Protoceratops? What do you know about Protoceratops? Protoceratops, it is a small dinosaur. Looks very a bit like a Triceratops. Do we have a fossil here? Yeah, right there. Which one? That one there? Yeah, that one. Wow. Hey guys, this is a Genius. I. What is it called again, Marvin? Gen Eonis. Alright, tell us a bit about it. Well, it is the closest related to Eonis. Um, it. Where is it found? Where was it discovered? South Australia. South Australia. It was discovered in South Australia. Also, like, I think it ate stones. It used gizzard stones for its. Digestion! So it ate it mostly for its digestion. Yeah. So, guys, I am now going to show you a Reprachodon. You see that one over there? That's it. Just a This is a Diprotodon. And that is right over there. Diprotodon was found in grasslands and woodlands. I don't think it was a dinosaur. The Protodon lived after the dinosaur time. It was the biggest megafauna and the most biggest marsupial. What, what is marsupial? A marsupial is something like, you know kangaroos, how they give their birth, they have pouches. Marsupials are things that have pouches. Which country this uh, fossil was found? Australia. Australia. Grassland and woodland throughout oh Australia. I'm just going to inform you about one last dinosaur. It is the only flying dinosaur I have informed you today. They look to them. The Archaeopteryx. Can you say that again? Archaeopteryx. Okay. The Archaeopteryx is a famous fossil right here. I only know about it. Archaeopteryx had the feathers and wings of a bird, but had the tail, head, and jaws of a dinosaur. When the Archaeopteryx was found as a fossil, scientists figured out that it had actual feathers. Most flying dinosaurs didn't have feathers. This one did, but it also had features of dinosaurs. This like persuaded that paleontologists to like believe that birds came from dinosaurs. Like birds were created from dinosaurs. It persuaded paleontologists for that guys. So that's been an amazing day exploring the history of dinosaurs. I just want to share my thoughts about this place. I think it's awesome because it has so many facts it could teach you a lot but this is one fun fact. Don't tell my brother or my or mom I told you guys this except my dad. Mad Men Cheesaurus was the most longest was the most longest dinosaur of all time. Remember, don't tell us. Okay, guys, it's been such a fun day at the museum, but guess what I just realized? Only 20% of you have subscribed to our channel. So that means 80% of you who have watched our videos have not subscribed. So please make sure to subscribe to our channel. Also, please become a museum member. It only costs $99 per year. So make sure, to, and and one last thing, make sure to, sh to share, comment, like, and subscribe. See ya!